Hello everyone! Chester the Cat on the scene, wondering how we can figure out which one of us is the one that killed Nagito. What the heck? Just like Russian Roulette, I guess. One of us threw the poison grenade that killed Nagito? H hold on a sec. The Nagito was... It would mean he didn't kill himself. You said so yourself! You said Nagito committed suicide! We'll see. Oh, I do not want to be gremlin during this. Please, I beg of you. The, then who killed Nagito? You mean, who's the actual killer, right? Do you know? Uh... Who prepared the poison fire grenade that killed Nagito? Huh? That was Nagito himself. I see. It was Nagito, obviously. We just discussed this a few minutes ago. And who set the warehouse fire that caused one of us to throw the poison grenade? That was also Nagito. I see. That was also Nagito. Hey, how many times are you gonna ask the same damn question? The next question will be my last. Considering all the facts up till now, why did Nagito set the warehouse on fire? To make someone throw the poison. I see! Don't tell me, eh? He set the warehouse on fire just so we'd have to throw the fire grenades? He set the fire just so we'd put it out? Why'd he do that? It was a trap. A trap? Preparing the poison, creating a reason for us to throw the poison. It was all a setup by Nagito. Oh, God. It was all a trap to make one of us throw the poison grenade. But then that still counts as... S seriously, I'm asking you who threw it. I don't know. The person who threw it probably didn't know either. Huh? Could, could it be... Was that Nagito's trap? Oh, my God. This wasn't an intentional murder. This was a murder that Nagito forced someone to do. And for that reason... He put the fire grenade that he filled with poison with the other grenades. Setting up a murder nobody can solve. That was Nagito's true goal. What? What the hell? Oh, God. Nagito did not commit murder. Instead, he manipulated someone else into killing him? To do that, he set a trap to force someone to kill him. The poison grenade and the fire were traps. That's why the curtain was the fire's origin point. All the fire grenades we threw at the curtain shattered once they fell to the floor. Because of that, Nagito, who was laying face up on the floor, was able to breathe in the dense poison. No. And then... Oh, hold, hold on! If that's true, you can't say the poison was the cause of death. It might be the poison's fault he let go of the spear, but the actual cause of death could be either one. Even so, <laughs> the poison is what caused him to let go of the spear. That's right! Nagito's killer is the one who made him breathe the poison! I... Are you fucking serious? That was his trap all along. Even the wounds all over his body, it was all to mess with the evidence for what actually happened. His true goal was creating a murder that nobody can solve. He wanted to prove to us that there are mysteries that just can't be solved with educated guesses. He probably expected that his fake suicide would be found out. After all, a mystery that can be solved is destined to be solved in the end. However, I... he also prepared a mystery that couldn't be solved. Hey, Skelly. Um, we're nearing the end of the game, and, uh, this is fucked up. As you solve mysteries and bolster your hope, a huge mystery comes along and slaps you in your faces. For those of you who believe there are no unsolvable mysteries, 
mysteries, that is when you finally taste the spam. Meaning, he used all of the prior class trial verdicts to prepare this trick. Not all mysteries can be solved. <laughs> Such a devious trick he played on you, as expected of Nagito. That's totally messed up. That's so fucked up. There's no way of knowing who the you killer is. Because I told you all about the fire grenades. I, I am so sorry. Please vote me as the killer. That's not the fucking issue here. It's not Miss Sonia's fault. This is all Nagito's doing. But what should we do? How can we even figure out who the killer is? It's impossible. Impossible? Nagito wanted to create a scenario where we couldn't make a decision. That's why we're at an impasse. Huh. However, Monokuma also does not know who the killer is, right? That's right! There's no way he'd be able to figure that out with just his surveillance cameras! If Monokuma doesn't know, this trial doesn't count! Isn't that right? You know, I don't actually need stuff like cheap-ass surveillance cameras or whatever. I know perfectly well what's happening on this island at all times. Oh God! So he actually. I know you used the bathroom three times yesterday, Sonya, and one of those visits seemed to take a while. Huh? Please stop! I will never become queen. How can you? I'm so sure. I mean, how can you have such an awful power? So of course this trial still counts. Do your very best to guess who the killer is. Yes, he says. <laughs> How the hell are we supposed to do that? Is giving up all we can do? No, uh. it's too early to give up. Is there any way to figure out who the killer is? Even though it's just a hunch, it's possible that it's probably... There's one way, I think. Really? Okay. Is it all right if we look at Nagito's crime one more time from the beginning? I want to make sure my hunch is correct. Hajime, please. Right. Doesn't mean the trial's over yet. Even though I don't know who killed Nagito, I should still be able to, be able to tell what kind of a trap he set. Then I have to do it. You have a 1 in 5 chance, so it's a 20% chance. Yeah. Also, big snuggles for the skelly. I got it. Let's do this then. Alright. Been a while since I just start. Since I just started doing this. Oh, let's see. There's a special poison. Before switching the poison. Why? Er, not that one. That's not the one I meant to grab. I meant to grab this one. Okay. You saw the... The fact that he went this far. Is. Still messed up. Sheesh. 
Before they switch positions, I think there's anything. House was. Oh. Yeah, then he sniped us with that comment. He learned. He really learned amazing things in the final dead room, then, huh? Yeah, but. Here's everything that happened in this case. Oh god. The person who actually arranged this incident was the victim, Nagito Komaeda. He kept a specific item inside his cottage that he needed for his plan. Monokuma's special poison, which he brought with him from the octagon. Using the gloves and gas mask that he got from the military base. Nagito swapped the contents of a fire grenade he took from the plushy factory break room with that poison. When he did that, a specific item was left as evidence. The blue aluminum seal on the grenade. With that, Nagito finished making the poisoned fire grenade. Took it with him to the factory. with the rest of the grenades in the break room. The next morning, Nagito appeared before us and declared that he hit a bomb somewhere. While we were looking for the bomb, that's when Nagito headed over to the goods warehouse. In order to set up a fire, Nagito arranged the Monokuma panels in a line going from the door to the curtain and placed an oil lighter in front of it. From there, Nagito set his insane plan in motion. First, he hung the spear that he took from Nozumi Castle from the ceiling girder by its core. Then he tied his arms and legs at the back of the warehouse with rope. However, he burnt off the rope on his right arm beforehand. In doing so, he made sure that only his right hand was free, while his remaining arm and legs were tied up. As he gripped the tip of the rope hanging over the ceiling girder with his left hand, he lay down face up, just beneath the dangling spear. But this was just the beginning of Nagito's plan. And then, he did something no one could have predicted. First, he covered his mouth with duct tape, and after making sure he was unable to scream, He stabbed himself with the knife multiple times in his left arm and in both of his thighs. Finally. Ah! He propped the knife on the plushie and slammed his right hand onto the blade. He didn't just want us to think he was tied up. He also wanted us to think he'd been tortured. Through all this, Nagito never let go of the spear. His plan still wasn't over. In fact, it was just about to begin. Meanwhile, we finally arrived at the plushy factory and found Nagito's message. After seeing his message, we instantly made our way to the warehouse. But that was part of Nagito's plan. We opened the door to the warehouse, which inadvertently started the Monokuma panel domino effect. The panels fell one after another until they reached the lighter, tipped it over, and ignited the curtain. Shocked by the sudden fire, we rushed to the factory's break room to obtain some fire extinguishing grenades. We then aimed for the fire's origin point, which was the curtain, and unloaded the entire supply. True dedication. Not to mention, he's been paying attention to the question he, he asks Monokuma along the way. Those grenades was the poison grenade that Nagito had prepared. poison sank to the floor, instantly vaporizing due to the intense heat, and spread everywhere. The poison gas quickly drifted to the curtain at the back of the warehouse, where Nagito was. Also, 
Monokuma's poison has a unique quality in which it becomes heavier than air when vaporized. That poison gas completely surrounded the area where Nagito lay face up on the floor. There, Nagito inhaled the poison, and if it didn't instantly kill him, he certainly lost consciousness. Which caused him to let go of the rope in his left hand, and the falling spear plunged into his stomach. This is all the information related to Nagito's plan. His true intention was to set one of us up as the killer. At this time, we still don't know who the killer is, because the killer wasn't aware they killed someone. Try as we might, we cannot reach that truth. That was Nagito's trap. This is fucked. Yeah. Oh my god. In conclusion, the fact that we can't determine the killer's identity. It means that we all fell for it. This should be the truth behind Nagito's trap. How about it, Chiaki? Will that help you figure out who the killer is? Uh, um, Chiaki? Just as I thought. It's impossible, isn't it? You say we just have to vote for someone? What Hajime said is probably true. That's part of the reason why I thought it was a little strange. Did Nagito really not care who the killer was? No, he said he'd expose the traitor. He said this to us earlier. It's going to be fine. I'm pretty sure everything will work out in the end. After all, there's no way hope can lose. Absolute hope that can break through any despair can never lose in a place like this. And not only that, I believe in you all. I believe in all the time we spent together. That feeling of belief is at the heart of his trick. He believed we'd notice the fire grenades. He believed we'd try to extinguish the flames. And he believed we'd fall into his trap. By believing in us, Nagito was able to put his life-threatening plan into effect. What do you mean, believe? And what's wrong with that? There's one more thing, remember? Something that Nagito believed in from the bottom of his heart. I want you to try to remember what that is. He's the ultimate lucky student. His talent. Nagito believed in his talent as the ultimate lucky student. After all the time we spent together, I believe in you guys. And more than anything, I believe in my ultimate luck. So it's definitely gonna be all right. I guess the last thing you could believe in was his own talent. It's not so strange, really. Most of us here have been relying on the same thing. <sighs> but in his case, it was pretty remarkable, wasn't it? It almost seemed like he had blind faith in it. You're right. The same thing happened when he cleared the final dead room at the funhouse. It wasn't life-threatening at all. It was just a little escape game that ended with some Russian roulette. Russian roulette? It's a game where you load one bullet and a gun, spin the cylinder, point it towards you, and pull the trigger. So you really did it. Ah, so that's how you're supposed to play it. So it would've been fine if I only used one bullet, huh? I guess it was just as Monami said. Huh? I misunderstood and thought that I had to take one bullet out of the cylinder. So that's how I did it. That... You had a 1 in 6 chance of surviving! But I'm still alive. After all, the only good thing about me is how lucky I am. And he did the same thing when the first killing happened at the old building near the hotel. He depended on his luck and was able to get cleaning duty just as he wanted. That's right, I just trusted my luck. I trusted I'd be picked for cleaning duty. You just relied on your luck? It's not just luck. It's true, my talent is trash, but I'm still the ultimate lucky student, you know. Huh? I'm left with the red mark. Huh. For someone who gets called the ultimate lucky student, I don't seem to be very lucky right now. At that time, Hajime said I wasn't lucky, but it was actually the opposite. <laughs> I was lucky! That's why I got picked for cleaning duty, just like I wanted! But his luck doesn't have anything to do with the case this time, right? 
No, it does. Sorry, I'm cracking open a soda. No, there's no way. I mean, this is Nagito we're talking about. What, what did he do? No, he wasn't just after anybody. He probably had a target. A target he was aiming for all along. A person to set up as the killer. A target? Who? The traitor. The target's true identity. Even Nagito didn't know it. That's why he relied on being the ultimate lucky student and incorporated that How dare you soda? Plan. No, I'm sodaing. As long as he had his luck, he believed the target he was after would pick up the fire grenade. You mean he left his plan to luck? He risked his life for that? No, that sounds like him. He probably risked his life just so his ultimate love could decide this. Who is it? Who's the target Nagito was after? But I don't even have to ask. We already know who it is. I see. That's it. The traitor. Nagito was after the traitor, huh? Then he... He relied on his luck to weed out the traitor? Nagito didn't know who the traitor was until the very end. All he could do was rely on his own luck. Then... What he said in his video message... It won't work with just any student handbook if you want to disarm that bomb. You have to use the traitor's student handbook. To be honest, I found out who the traitor was after secretly monitoring everyone's activity. But I was a little annoyed that they never came forward. So he was just bluffing. That's probably true. By that point, his plan should have already been in motion. Chiaki? That it's just as Nagito said at the beginning. His purpose was to weed out the traitor. <sighs> if we just believed in what Nagito said, we would have reached that answer much quicker. <sighs> the reasons took so damn long. Was it really because we didn't believe in him? But if he just wanted to out the traitor, he didn't have to go this far and make that person the killer. Damn it! We're all in a huge bind because of that! It means he wants us by finding Oops, out who sorry. the traitor is... Our hopes will shine even brighter by overcoming that despair. That's something he'd say. Monami, it looks like you've got something you want to say. But you better just keep your mouth shut. And that concludes my argument. Nagito's plan was to make the traitor kill him. What are you going to do? Are you guys going to believe me? He relied on his luck to aim for a target, but he didn't even know who he was aiming for. It sounds way too unbelievable to have actually happened, but... The only thing we can do is believe. If we don't, then we'd just be relying on our luck when we cast our votes. But even if we do believe, what should we do? I mean, if we don't know who the target is... You are absolutely Oops. right. Hey, PK. It is hard to think the traitor would reveal themselves now. Sorry, my finger's like slipping. Shot. If, by chance... The traitor revealed themselves during that bomb scare. What would have happened? Would it have stopped Nagito from acting so reckless? Huh? But they couldn't help it. Even if they wanted to reveal themselves, they couldn't do it because they weren't created to do that. Chiaki? What's wrong, Chiaki? Get a hold of yourself! Oh no. Chiaki? That's why I want you guys to guess. You want us to guess? Yeah, I want you to guess. What? What does that mean? Who do you think it is, Hajime? <laughs> She's a bot. No, not my wife. <laughs> oh. Who do you think the future foundation sent to infiltrate your group as the traitor? Why? A traitor who's not allowed to think that they're different from everyone else. Why? A traitor who can only interact with everyone as a traitor. Why? Because that's the nature of their existence. They can only exist as a traitor. Seriously, why? 
Who do you think is the traitor? Hajime, please. Oh. Oh, not this. It's... you? Chiaki, you're the traitor? Please! Hold on! Ah, you totally guessed right. Just as expected. Yep, you're correct. This is a big what? I mean, I had a feeling. I've had a feeling it was her for a while now, but... I'm the traitor. Uh. The agent sent by the future foundation to hide among you all... ...is me. Damn it. Why? This is... I mean, this is nonsense. Why? Why does this make sense? Hey, Chiaki. Are you being serious right now? Ch Chiaki is the traitor? That is a lie, right? Surely you must be joking. I'm sorry. It's the truth. Hey, what are you saying sorry for? What does this mean? You... Up till now... You've been tricking us? What? We were not tricked! After all... We have been working together all this time! We have been helping each other all this time! Chiaki... Being a traitor... Being a member of that horrifying future foundation... That is obviously a lie! Please! Wait! The future foundation isn't what you think it is! Shut the fuck up! We're talking to Chiaki! No... I have nothing more to say. Why? Because we already know the killer's true identity. So the only thing left to do is vote. Which I guess we'll be doing in the next episode. Until then, take care. Ta-ta for now.